Hello everybody, how's it going? It's Eamon here, hope you're all keeping well out there. Um, back today with some more OMSI 2 for you, and today we are back with the new payware DLC called um, Harbor Hafen, or Hamburg Hafen City with Hamburg Modern. Um, this is a new add-on from Darius Bode, um, the creator of the original Hamburg and the Hamburg um, Innovation Line, as well as Chicago, and maybe he has had some kind of um, influence on other projects with the Gladbeck team. Well. This is what I'm trying to say to these guys. I was going to surprise us, but they've just surprised me. The best thing I think about this add-on so far, well, probably not the best thing, but one of the great things about it is the people on the bikes. They're just people on bikes, but they add so much more to it that um, it's just fantastic looking, you know? Um, they really, really are cool. Um, it's totally something new with an OMSI, and it just looks absolutely awesome, and I cannot wait to run over a few of them. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this map basically guys is set at the end of 2015 and um, basically he has come up again with the goods and um, a few things you need to know about it. Um, people that own the other Hamburg add-ons, the day and night ones and the innovation line, you can get to drive them routes, the 109 or the 688 on this add-on. So you probably won't need to have to open up your your, your Hamburg day and night anymore. This will be it for you. The Hafen City one will have it all. It'll have four routes, this, the 109, 688. The 6 and the 11. The 6 we're going to be driving today in the Volvo uh, single bus, single decker bus. It comes with a bendy as well and it's a hybrid as well which is awesome. Um, yeah so it comes with AI cars, new AI cars, cyclist ships and new passenger voices as well so um, it's really really cool. It's a, The only thing is it's a bit um, it's a bit tough on the old memory. I've noticed a few people complain about it already in terms of memory but I think them people just don't have a good enough PC for it. Um, I'm going to see today how I'm going to get on with it. Um, Darius has included a lot of stuff in the README in regards to the, um, the options to choose to get the best performance of it. And uh, so if you look at the PDF uh, README, Jesus, he's gone very fast. Oh, he, could, he could easily clip my mirror, could he? Nice, long down now, good lad. Um, he, he includes a lot in the PDF about the, uh, the options to use and how to get the best performance of it. I've seen even people complaining about the bus. A lot of people have been saying great things about it, but few people have been complaining about the bus on Discord, the London Discord, um, and to be honest, I don't know why, why they complain. They just, they're never happy, you know. Um, so yeah, so today we're going to be driving the six, which operates a tight schedule Monday through to Friday from 4 a.m. to midnight. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to go in with all that bullshit at the moment. I'm just going to, or not, it's not bullshit, but it's information. I just want to kind of get the bus started and get ready for my run. So um, we'll have a look at the bus now and uh, show you what it's like. Uh, it looks, it's a pretty awesome looking bus. The Volvo V9H is the one we're in. Um, uh, yeah, and they can replace AI driver to take over this vehicle and other stuff like that. And with modern, the Volvo V900H is a hybrid. Um, stands 48 people, but in bus company simulator stands like 92, I think it is. Um, it's a four cylinder line diesel engine, other stuff like that. I'm not. I, I don't know much about it, but. Um, we're going to give it a shot anyway. It's the first kind of hybrid in, uh, in its, uh, in the game, you know. So it's great. So let's jump in anyway and see. A lot of you probably know from Darius's other buses. He has like a lot of stuff is similar. Obviously the dash is different, but it has over here on the left the ticket machine, which is pretty much the same um, as the the Hamburg ones, you know. So um, we we'll just have a quick look around the dash with my crap mouse. A lot of stuff is really, really nice. Apparently, my guy Andre was saying that the bus can go from 10 to 85 kilometers in 10 seconds with this button pressed, but we're not going to press that. Hang on. <laughs> Bless me. Sorry if I frightened you. Hang on. <laughs> Bless me again. Sorry if I frightened you again. Um, so we're not going to do anything like that. We're just going to go kind of straight in and set up our route, really, and get it going. Um, we don't want to go 10 to something in 85 and so many... There she is. I love the cyclists, absolutely love them. Who the hell is this coming on front of me? So I'm just going to go through some of the views we have of the bus, you know. That's the bus in um, from the passenger view. It's a really, really nice bus, I have to say. It looks really lovely. Small bus with three doors, which is really, really great. Uh, yeah, so apparently the passengers control the doors, so if they want to get off, they'll get off, you know. Um, you don't have to do anything about it. Uh, okay, let's do this. Oh, I just turned it off, sorry. Yeah. 
So we go over to our ticket machine. Now I had an issue with the ticket machine there, so hopefully it's fixed now. Right, let's do this. 1506. 1506. So you're going to look for now the Dean's number. I don't know what that is. That's not that, is it? Because I don't know if that's it. See, all of that, that number there is what we need to put in. So I'm just going to click this, right? Um, it's not going to work now. Then you need, this is the number we need now. Okay, yeah. 661105. Gotcha. Yeah, that's us, but it looks real. Okay. 22 minutes left to go before we, we jump off there. Let's see. Yeah, that's where we're headed. So I'm just going to forward time now, guys, and get it set up and get it ready for uh, for departure, I guess. Um, I have the navigation on today, and I'm looking at the navigation now, and there's a lot of people on this map. A lot of people. Um, I'm not doing it in Bus Company Simulator. I'm just doing it out of BCS because um, I just wanted to show it, show it off to you guys. Um, what I will do, I will just have a look at my... I'll start her up first. Let's just hear that baby roar. Hear that baby roar. So them two buttons at the top that kind of spring to mind, they are apparently the light stop request, push to change the brightness, whatever that means. Um, don't know. And then 16 is a wheelchair, push to change brightness also. So I don't know what they do. Um, the middle one here is the automatic door one, so I presume 26. Hang on, I'm just going to fast forward time like I said I would. Because I know a lot of people don't like people talking while they're in their videos, they prefer them to kind of get stuck into it and go. Where are we now? How many minutes left now? Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, let's do this. I turned off, as I said, I turned off my navigation because my navigation isn't really working well. Um, it's not working that great, so I said I'd turn it off. Morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, so a few new things, guys. The cyclists are in here. Um, they're really, really cool. The the new AI traffic is really cool as well. And people that experience a lot of lag, which I have been doing recently. Um, the best thing to do, I think, is to just change your AI traffic to maybe a um, a different one like maybe back to the Berlin one because there's a lot of things you can do to help yourself you know when it comes to uh, AI traffic on this map you know so and in and lag especially lag so um, so what I've done is I've just changed mine to a Sunday and I've lowered down my schedule buses because I don't want to have every bus in the map you know showing up at once on the, on the tile so that's what I've done so hopefully it'll be okay for me now. Um, let's see, anyway. I need a new PC, that's basically what I'm saying. You know, if I got a new PC, I'd be laughing. Does anyone out there want to buy me a PC? I don't ask for much, you know. And actually, in the interest of that, this, I didn't buy this copy. This is actually a beta copy from Aerosoft. They sent me this copy. Hello. And, um, to do this video on. Now I asked for it the day before release, which I didn't know was being released. I think like a lot of yourselves, I didn't know this map was being released yesterday, because this is the next day. This is the Friday. It was released on the Thursday. I had no clue that it was being released. So um, so it was a surprise to me that I was like looking forward to doing a video a week before the release, and then all of a sudden it's not, it's, it's out. So, but thank you very much to Aerosoft and Janine from Aerosoft for giving me this um, this copy, the beta copy. I had a bit of trouble getting into the beta testing, but eventually I got in. And um, so, if you're watching this, Aerosoft, uh, sorry for all the emails, <laughs> and thanks for the, the beta copy. Um, yeah. So, my Omsi updated a small patch today, like 50 mega megabytes, 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 and uh, so I'm not sure if um, someone else has did as well, or if someone that doesn't have the beta copy did. It could have been a patch for the map. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Don't know.
It's typical Darius though, it's a really really lovely map. Everyone's been saying the scenery is really really pretty in it, so I'm looking forward to seeing what it's like. What I will be doing is getting my Vienna motorbikes in here. Oh, without a doubt getting the Vienna motorbikes in here. We'll have cyclists and bikers. Oh yeah, it's going to be awesome. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hello. Hello. So, this can get bright, can it? By the looks of it. Oh, it can, yeah, see? Oh, okay. Way my uh, my thing didn't stop that time. Because I presume we're going straight. There they are. Go on, my love. She has a helmet on her. That's good. She hadn't got a helmet on her earlier. Kind of like me. I don't have a helmet on. I don't wear a helmet on. I cycle. So there's a lot of different routes you can, like you can do the 6 and the 11 and the 109 and the 688 but there's a lot of different terminate. The, the 6 terminates in different places so you could, you could go on this one, this is a half an hour long from me, um, or where, I don't know where I'm going now, sorry, I can't find it, um, or you can go on the one that's, uh, that could be a different term, this could be lower. I don't know if they go to like the likes of Radis Mark or anything like that, I'm not sure. I haven't got into the add on that much. I'll hopefully have a drive of it now tonight, a uh, proper drive because it's early morning today, so um, I just wanted to relax because I'm off work. If I haven't, if you just haven't heard already, just don't follow me on Instagram or yeah, basically Instagram, then you just probably haven't heard that I let a big table fall on my toe, and I mean a big table. Like it was a six foot long table and it was a massive yoke and it crashed right down on my toe so I'm out of action for a couple of days it's really bad it's really sore so um, I literally driving today with my bad foot which is just kind of tough you know but um, but it's sore so um, I can't walk because my job I have to stand a lot and I can't do that so Yeah, so with my job I can't stand a lot, so um, I, can't, I stand a lot in my job, so I can't stand in work, so I have to uh, take the days off I'm sick. It's crazy because it's my fourth sick day in maybe nine nine years I'd say, Pro proper not messing there, like nine years I'd say it's my fourth sick day, so it's pretty awesome that I got that long without a sick day, but now here I am sick, you know, but I'm, I'm not sick, like I probably could work, but it's a health and safety issue, you know, you can't go to work when uh, um, you have a sore foot like that, so that's my reason for it. Now we're going to try Andreas's theory right now. We're going to click this one, see what happens. That's the electrics. Thanks for that, Andreas. And maybe it's the other red one down on the far side. It's 
I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's very Hamburg like, even though we're still in Hamburg, you know? I'm gonna get a DL out on it later, I reckon. Let's see how the DL runs. Say the old DL would look alright. What's that say? No idea what that says. Sort of error on the bus here. I don't know what it is though. Maybe my brakes failed? Yeah, that looks more like what it is. Are you kidding me? My brakes are broke? My brakes failed? I haven't got any brakes. I have. They're not the best. Hang on, I need to pull in. Next bus stop, I'll pull in because. I have failed brakes. It's not good. What do you do if your brakes fail? Like, I'm literally not pressing anything now, lads, and I'm going faster than I was going. Fix that, I think. How are you folks? Sorry, this new bus. Uh... Oh yeah. I think we're all right now. Had to just use the spanner. Look at the speed of that fella going down the road. Absolutely loving life. What it's all about cyclists. That's how they do it, that's how they roll. A lot of people at the bus stops, a lot of people. is about Darius' buses is that I'm not saying I don't like the buses just his views you know like when um, I look this way and I look this way I like to look out the window like that one instead of going down there so I don't like that bit, but it's not like a killer it's not like the worst thing in the world ever you know so it's not oh man that pedal on my toe is sore very sore Boys, that's it man. Helmets, it's the way to do it mate. Cyclists are amazing. I know it sounds crazy, it's such a small thing, but 
but they're really, really good. They're really nice. They're really... They add something different. They make the city vibrant. But I don't know how you, you would add them to another map, you know, so... Ready to go guys, let's do it. Okay, so this opens the roof. I am now. I'm trying to figure some of the places where I am. Jeez, they didn't stay red green for long, did they? Jesus. Where's West out? Alright. Trying to figure out where I am. Don't know, don't. No. I think we'll try winning the snow later on tonight. I might even live stream later. I had a really, really good sleep last night, so a live stream is kind of ideal tonight, you know, just to drive around the map with the snow and the rain and the thunderstorms and everything. See how I am. Oh. I need a new mouse, a new keyboard. I need everything. No. 
They're having a bounce at the back anyway, can you hear them? I guess we're kind of in the middle of the city now, I would think, I, would think. I don't know. It's not like there's quite a load over there. Oh, but it is. Oh, I know where we are. It's the half ban off, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, I know where we are. I probably miss my lights now because it would take so long to turn off. That's the half ban off down there. That museum is the 109 right there. Or else not. Maybe it's the other one torn it. Yeah, buddy. He's still there anyway. on so I go up here and I swing a left now do I rather than a, a right or do I swing a straight right Yeah, because my information line's not working for some reason. I don't know why. Ah, oh, man. Ow! Toe. I think about that separate anyway, that's for sure. Maybe a 
irnos. Lights. I'd say it's one of them anyway. Out there. Oh. Some helmet, isn't it? Jesus. See, I don't know which way I go now. I think I go over that bridge. Sure I do. We're going over the bridge anyway. are everywhere now. They even make sounds, you hear them? These have mud guards on anyway because it's going to be lashing rain later, they said. Oh, be careful, minder! See what I mean? Terrible. Maybe an accident happened up there. Crazy stuff. Crazy world we live in. No. Oh. I reckon I'm running late now as well. The lights are just constantly red here, it's nuts. Absolutely nuts. Oh. Hell yeah. Over the bridge now, to the other side of the city. This part has taken forever, this, this little road. A lot of red lights. I presume it will delay it, but if you catch all greens, then I reckon you'll fly through it. If you're driving with collisions on, as far as I'm aware, there's a visible junction here that you, that you hit. I remember Steve uh, Chester hit it the other day, so just be aware of it. I think I'm near the end anyway. I'm just going where the navigator's telling me to go, and it's telling me to go this way, so I'm going this way. I mean, it's, it's not showing me the route, but... Yeah. 
So yeah, we're coming to the end now guys. So that was the Route 6 the New Hamburg Hafen City add-on. Um, hopefully it was a nice video for you. Um, I tried my best to explain as much as I could. Um, thank you again to Airsoft for giving me the copy to show off to you guys. Um, the next video will probably be on the Bendy bus and it'll be the Route 111. I think I'm doing them the wrong way around though. I think I should be doing the 111 in the, or this one in the Bendy and the 111 in the... Um, the this one for sure look what can you do uh, you can't really do anything about it so um so thank you guys hopefully you enjoyed this video um i enjoyed doing it as always and um i shall speak to you all again in my next video which will be soon i hope okay guys thank you i appreciate it and i love you bye bye